what do you get when you combine the sketch panel with the trace panel? You get highly detailed, full of depth images that you can sketch out on your Cameo 4, Cameo 5, or the Curio 2, which is what I used. This is so amazing. I am in love with the results. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success. I do hope that you are going to join our growing community. We are having a ton of fun and you're not going to want to miss out on it. I spent the entire day yesterday just playing around with the sketch panel, getting my settings down to a T, having fun, playing with the Curio 2. It was an amazing, relaxing Sunday. Here you can see the difference between the four sketches, and it's a good representation of the different settings and what they do. The first one, my line spacing was a bit too wide. Um, the second one, I wasn't very fond of how much the purple showed through. Uh, the third one, I just kind of messed up completely. And the fourth one, I think personally turned out the best. My son says the purple one wins. Maybe you can let me know in the comments which one you like the best. Now, if everyone is ready to learn something new today, let's do this. I have brought this design into Design Studio. I grabbed this guy from Creative Fabrica and I'll put a link in the description below. Today we're going to get him ready to sketch. I know we've covered how to get images ready to cut. Today we're going to work with the sketch panel, turn him into an SVG and then use the sketch panel here. So the first thing we need to do obviously is get him scaled down. Eventually, this guy is going to go into an 8x8 shadow box, which I will create, and I will put a video up on that as well. So I know that I need this guy to be 8x8, and I'm going to just grab a square, hold down my shift key, draw that out, and then come up here to size it. The lock aspect ratio button is locked here. I'm just going to simply type in 8. And this is the size that I need. I'm going to change the color because that is very hard to see. Obviously, I need to send that to back. Grab a hold of my image and just scale it down so that it fits nicely within that square. That looks good. I'm going to take the square and just set it aside. Now I will be using the Curio 2 today to sketch. That's what my page is set up for. I will also be using a mat because my cardstock is textured and it does not adhere to the electrostatic bed very well. But that's okay. The mat works wonderfully with this. Let's open up our trace panel and get started. We're simply going to select trace area and draw a box all the way around him. And this is your typical 45% threshold trace. Now the first color I'm tracing for is the light, light gray. So I'm going to bring this up a bit until more of him is highlighted. I wanna pick up the details in his forehead, but I still want some white areas left in the teeth. So let's take this to 80. I think that's going to do okay. And then trace. Pull off the original image, select the trace. And just for reference, I'm going to fill this in with light gray. I need to select him again. Okay, this is light gray. This is our bottom layer. The next thing we're going to do is trace them again. Now this is going to be the dark gray color. This is our second layer. This is going to go on top of the light layer. We're creating depth here. I don't think I want that much of it traced, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I still want to catch all of the details, but I do not want it filled in so much that I lose detail on my flowers. In this particular design, I'm going off of the flowers a lot. That's what I'm looking at. So this looks decent. I'm going to go ahead and trace and pull my image off. And this time I'm going to fill this in with a darker gray. 
and outline. Now I can bring this over and set him on top. It's not perfect, but we're starting to get an idea of where we're going with this. Now we're going to do one last trace. So again, select the whole thing with your trace box. This time we're picking up the black. We're doing the darkest layer right now. So we are going to bring this down so it just kind of adds a little bit of detail. You don't want too much of it black. When I was doing this the first time, I made sure there was some detail left in his fingers. That seemed to be like one of the last places to pick up. At 22, you have some detail in his fingers, some detail in the flowers, but you still have some lighter areas left in the grassy flower area. I think this is okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trace. This is all your preference as far as where you move the threshold. It's how you want your design to look. We're going to select our trace. This time we're going to fill it in with black. And if we set this on top of here, again, it's not perfect, but you can see where we're going with this. Now, it's not as detailed as the original, but I think it looks really good. We're going to pull our original off to the side and just set him here for a minute. And we are going to separate our layers and open up the sketch panel. Now in the sketch fill panel, you have quite a few choices as to how you want the machine to color it in. You can change your spacing and your angle, and you can choose to sketch out the edge or not. And at the bottom you have release effects, and we're gonna get into some of that in just a minute. But for this particular design, I used this fill pattern here. It is simply straight lines. Once you click on that, you can see how much that has changed. I'm going to outline each of these layers as well. But I want my lines a little bit closer together. When I was working with this earlier, I found that somewhere between 55 and 45 worked. I went with 55 for the back layer. So now I'm going to go ahead and release these effects. Select the work we've just done, and this layer, again, is light gray. It does change the lines to red, so you're going to have to switch it back. Now I have our light gray layer ready to sketch. Let's move on to the darker layer. Just going to do the same exact thing, except for this time, I am going to bring the spacing down to 45 this seems to be a little bit finicky today. I might just end up typing it in. Okay, I think that worked. And outline and release effects. Change our line to the darker gray. Set that one up there for a second. Now this last layer I did in pen because my paper was getting a little bit too saturated with the marker. I still did the striped effect, just simple lines, but I brought this down to 35 because the pen strokes are thinner. Outline, oops, release effects, and this layer is black. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center him, and then I'm going to zoom into an area where I can see if I have it lined up correctly, I think this will be good here. Let's grab this top layer and move it just a minute so we can work on these two. I know the lines are a little bit hard to see on this. Just bear with me. I'm going to use the arrow keys now just to bump it over a little bit, get it set right in place. His fingers are aligned well. This side of his head, everything looks good at this point. Fit this back to the window. Select all of them and group. 
Now I'm going to bring in my square that I created earlier. Set that to no fill color. And I'm going to change the line to red. Let's select both of these. Center. And then I'm going to center it to the page so that it draws right in the center of my 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Now we can go up to the send panel and we can do this a couple of different ways. We can click on all of these. Somehow this one ended up as cut. You wanna make sure all of your grays are set to sketch and the red is set to cut. So let's switch this one. Just click on that, choose sketch. And if you go through and have all of them selected at once, what you want to do is click on. There's a lot going on with the data here, so it might take a minute. Let it catch up. There we go. If you click on the color, it's going to select this line of information. Okay, so we select there. We can go through and add a pause. We'll select the next Add a pause and the next and add a pause. Now at this point it's going to sketch out this color and then the machine is going to put itself in pause mode so that I can change out the pen. Once the pen has been switched out I can come down here there will be a button that says resume. I'll hit resume and then it will do the black and then pause, change the pen, and so on. However, we want to sketch from light to dark. And right now we have the middle layer, the bottom layer, I'm sorry, the middle layer, the top layer, the bottom layer, and then cut. We need this one to be at the top. So you can just double click and drag it up to the top and it will rearrange how your machine is going to work. Since we drag that to the top, now it's going to go light gray, dark gray, and finish up with the black, which is exactly what we want. Now, after this last pause, I can go in and have it cut the outside border. And that is one way you can work with the line fill tab in the sun panel. Another way you can do it is remove the pauses, which this is how I do it. Okay, remove pause, and then remove pause. Okay, now we have taken out all of the pauses. At this point, the machine is just going to sketch this, and then sketch this, and sketch this, and then cut this, and there will be no breaks in between, which is not going to work for us. So what I do is I uncheck everything that I don't want it to to sketch or cut at this point. Okay, so right now I am telling my Curio 2 to go in and sketch the light gray layer only. Once it is finished that, I will uncheck this one and I will check the dark gray layer and I will switch my pen out at this time. After my pen is switched, then I will do the send and work with that layer. When that layer is finished, uncheck that one, insert the black pen, finish up with that layer, and then I will uncheck that box, check the red box, and my last step will be to cut out my design. I will definitely be using this little guy as part of my Halloween decorations. So I am going to create a shadow box out of cardstock to display him in. That's going to be the next video. So if you haven't yet, hit the notification bell because you aren't going to want to miss it, I promise. Now, if you are in the mood to watch another video on Silhouette, you're going to want to watch this one here. If you're done with YouTube for the day, go create something amazing, and I will see you in the next video.